Welcome to OG's Wealth of Math. In this video, we want to see how we can solve quadratic by factoring, the very fast way of solving quadratic by factoring. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, you can kindly do that, share my link, make comments on my video, share your views. Thank you. So now we have four problems to solve. We want to factorize all of this quadratic function, the trinomial. Now, the first thing I'm going to do um, for the first problem I'm going to multiply, this has a leading coefficient of 1, so I'm going to multiply the first term by the last term. If I do that, I'm going to get um, plus 11x squared. Now, the next thing to do is that I want to find two factors such so that when I multiply those factors, I'm going to get a plus 11. If I add or subtract the same factors, I'm going to get a negative 12. I'm going to say that again. I want to multiply two factors so that when I multiply them, I will get a plus 11. If I add or subtract the same factor, I'm going to get a minus 12. So my factors are, are minus 11 times minus 1. Because minus 11 times minus 1 will give me 11. Minus 11 minus 1 will give me minus 12. So the two factors are actually minus 11 and minus 1. Now the next thing I need to do, I'll open up two parentheses. Now I'm going to put x here, x on the other side. Now look at my two factors. This is minus 11. I'm going to put minus 11 here, minus 1, I'll put minus 1 here. Now if you look at, in this case, I have the leading coefficient of 1, so I don't have to divide if I have a leading question which is greater than 1, then I'll divide both sides by the leading question. Well, because 1 has no effect on division, so this will be my answer. Pretty simple. Now, let's solve this, the next problem. Now, I'll do the same thing. I'll multiply the first term by the last term. I will get a plus 18 all squared. All right. The next thing is that I want to look for two factors so that when I multiply them, I'm going to get... A plus 18, if I add or subtract the same factor, I will get a minus 11. So let me find the prime factor of 18 quickly. 2 here, 9. 3 in 9, 3. 3 in 3, 1. All right, so what combination should I use? Okay, let me do 9 and 2 because um, 9 times 2 will give me 18. 9 plus 2 will give me 11. But I need a minus, I need a minus 11, not just 11. So I'm going to work on the sign, so I have minus 9 times minus 2 will give me 18. Minus 9 minus 2 will give me minus 11. So that tells me that my factors are actually minus 9 and minus 2. So what am I going to do? All right, so I'm going to open up two parentheses. Um, I will do x here x on the other side. Now my two factors, don't forget about that. This is minus 9, I'm going to put minus 9 here. Then I have minus 2, I'll put minus 2. Now the next thing is that I'm going to divide this by the leading coefficient. So this is over 3, sorry, over 6. And this is over 6. Now I'll reduce this to its lowest form. Then I'll get x Minus, if I reduce it by 3 here, 3, 3 here, 2, so I have 3 over 2 in this side. Now on the other side, if I reduce this, 2 here, 1, 2 here, 3, I'm going to get minus 1 over 3. Now I'll multiply this by this, it's very simple, and I'll multiply this by that. That's all. So my answer will be, uh, okay, let's see. Let's find the space. Now, 2 times x will be 2x, so I have 2x here. So what will be left here will be minus 3. 3 times x will give me 3x. What will be left here will be minus 1. If I multiply this, it will give me back this function. So that is how to solve um, that. All right. So let's solve the next one. Now, this, we'll multiply this by that. We will get... Um, plus 21x squared. Now, this is quite different from the first two problems we've solved because in the first two problems, 
this is not equal to zero, but this is equal to zero. This simply means we need to find um, two values for x, right? So now I'm, I'm going to go through the process as well. I want to look for two factors so that when I multiply them, I'll have a plus 21. If I add or subtract the same factor, I'll get a minus 10. So I need to find the prime factors of 21. Um, this is 3 here. Um, 7, 7 here is 1. All right, so um, minus 7 and minus 3. Minus 7 and minus 3 are the factors. Why? Because uh, minus 7 times minus 3 will give me plus 21 minus 7 minus 3 will give me a minus 10. So those are my factors. Now, because I want, in this case, I want to find the values of x, I will just go straight away. x equals minus 7 and minus 12. Now, if I have, if my factors are negative, I'll make them positive. If my factors are positive, I'll make them negative. So take note of that. Now, in this problem, I have a minus 7, so I'll change it to plus 7. Then I'll divide it by the leading coefficient. Then x will be... This has a minus 3, I'll change it to plus 3, divided by the leading coefficient. So here, my x value, 3 divided by 3 is 1. My x value, 3 over 7 is 2, 1 over 3. So therefore, x is 1, or x is 2, 1 over 3. Very, very simple to, to solve. Now let's solve the last problem. Now in the last problem, I'm going to do the same thing multiply the first term by the last term if we do that um, we will arrive at minus 12 i'm uh, sorry minus 15 x squared now i want to find two factors so that when i multiply those factors i'm going to get a negative 15 if i add or subtract the same factors i will get a negative 2. now if i find the prime factors of 15 um, 3 in 15 is 5, 5 in 5 is 1, so I have 3 and 5, okay? So I can say um, minus um, 5 multiplied by minus 3 will give me uh, minus, minus 5, sorry, multiplied by 3 will give me minus 15, minus 5 plus 3 will give me minus 2. So I need two factors such that when I multiply them, I'll get a minus 15. If I add or subtract those same factor, I'll get a minus 2. So my factors are minus 5 and plus 3. So the next thing I'll do, I'll go straight to x. x will be what? The factors, I have a negative here. I'll change the negative 5 to a positive 5. Divided by the leading coefficient, which is 5. So that will give me 5 divided by 5. I have a 1. Then on the other one, my, my factor here is plus 3, so I'll change it to minus 3, divided by my leading question, which is 5. So that's my answer. So my answer, my x value, therefore, my x value will be 1, or x value is negative 3 over 5. That's pretty simple. Thanks for watching my video. You can always subscribe on OG's Wealth of Math, share your views, make comments on my video, share my link, Click on the notification bell. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.